Salut à tous, c'est Mervyn et bienvenue pour une nouvelle vidéo sur What the French, euh, la chaîne qui vous enseignera le français de la meilleure façon, je l'espère en tout cas, celle que je considère comme idéale, dans la mesure où euh, elle consiste à vous enseigner le français euh, tel qu'il est parlé par les Français, euh, dans n'importe quelle région où vous allez. So, in English, uh, hi and welcome. If this is your first video, welcome and uh, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified for new videos. And uh, don't hesitate to check my previous videos in the playlist. Um, it's, it's like a little show actually, so feel free to, to watch it. There's a certain uh, logic in the video order. So welcome and uh, let's dive into it, right? So when it comes to pastry, Uh, in French, actually, we call it viennoiserie. Everything you know about French pastry here in North America, especially here in Canada and the US, uh, French pastry is called viennoiserie. Viennoiserie. And it, um, it includes like croissant, pain au chocolat, pain au raisin, chausson aux pommes, on and on and on and on. The list goes on and on. But these are the most famous. This is the, these are the number one that, uh, that people buy every single day in France. So it's mostly like viennoiserie is considered as a breakfast thing, all right? And now, now when it comes to pastries, in French, they call it pâtisserie. But it's spelled pâtisserie, but it's actually called pâtisserie. You don't, nobody pro pronounces the letter E, okay? So it's pâtisserie. You will never hear someone say, um, uh, enter a bakery and ask for une pâtisserie, s'il vous plaît. No, une pâtisserie, s'il vous plaît. Um, so, yeah, so when it comes to French pastries, it's actually viennoiserie. Now, for the actual pastry, pâtisserie, it's everything considered fancy and uh, mostly for dessert. Like, uh, just a few examples uh, um, on the top of my head, it would be uh, tarte aux pommes, apple pie, any kind of tart, actually. Um, you will have those fancy ones like crème brûlée, opéra, religieuse, Éclair au chocolat. Man, just talking about this is making me hungry right now. Um, and so, so, so yeah, this is the main thing people go buy in bakeries. C'est ce que les gens achètent principalement dans les boulangeries ici en France. Um, des viennoiseries, des pâtisseries. Et ensuite, and then, we have bread. So, what would France be without bread? That's what we're known for, and uh, that's why we love, that's what we crave, all right? That's what everybody knows the most with uh, when it comes to France, right? Wine, cheese, and bread. So, just a few examples. What I, I will make another video dedicated to bread, so I'll, I'll go more in depth uh, about bread in France, but Mostly you will hear, of course, French baguette, baguette. It's like, uh, French people eat that basically with every meal. Every meal you have a piece of bread, okay? It's very, uh, it, it's, it's a family bread, I would say, okay? Any French dish, any French recipe uh, usually does and could involve bread baguette and then you have so many breads so many breads you have le pain de campagne pain de campagne is the type of bread that is as the name uh, involves it's made in on the countryside with some um, special flowers like rye flour whole wheat flour uh, you name it like on and on and on okay you will hear uh, like pain au fromage, uh, pain au safran, pain au noix. Oh yeah, 
French people are big with these. It's usually smaller. It's like those small breads that um, in, involve at one ingredient inside. It could be cheese, it could be nuts, like wo mostly walnuts. Um, when it comes to cheese, you will hear a lot of uh, Roquefort. It is a French cheese. It's very, very strong. Uh, you'll be able to check my other video about cheese. Like I'll go more in depth about what people go crazy about when it comes to France, right? And then, uh, yeah, all kinds of bread. We, we have a flat bread. It's like a, okay, it's like a nun, actually, like the Indian bread or the, uh, the, the Persian bread too, the Iranian bread. It's very flat and fluffy, uh, and it's called fugas, fugas. Fugas is very known for being a, a, a lunch thing because it usually involves uh, cheese inside of it. It's usually stuffed with cheese. So you have baguette, pain de campagne, fugas, and uh, or it's very known. Um, I'm not sure about this one if it was initially French, but it is now, is the panini. Panini is like huh, so so good. Basically, it's a piece of bread, an Italian bread, very very white bread, and then you cut it. You put all kinds of ingredients, and uh, we are good on uh, charcuterie. Basically, anything ham, pork. All right, so sausages and all kinds of ham, and then you put inside. And then you put it in that uh, some kind of grilled cheese machine and then you press it super hard and then you eat it very hot. It's crunchy and you get all those flavors from the inside. Uh, what else? The ultimate. I'm saying this with huge confidence. The ultimate lunch break. Sandwich. Okay. Now, what type of sandwiches can you have? It's usually half baguette, all right? And it's usually like this long, I would say, this big. And um, we put a lot of lettuce, uh, slices of tomatoes, um, and mayonnaise. There is a lot of mayonnaise. But these three ingredients, as, as soon as you see uh, lettuce, and uh, slices of tomatoes, it's called crudité. Crudité means like those crunchy vegetables, right? So, uh, all, all the names, most of the names of sandwiches involve the word crudité. You will see crudité poulet, crudité thon, crudité, uh, what else? Crab. Crudité, crevette, crudité, anything. And then the most iconic, the most iconic is the jambon gruyère. So, what, what is it? So, same, the principle is the same, half baguette, and then you spread butter in it, salted butter, preferably. <clears throat> and then you add uh, two slices of ham, and two slices of that iconic uh, French cheese, which is called Gruyère. 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 So when you ask for a jambon gruyère, um, or just jambon beurre, like butter, butter, beurre, uh, if you don't like cheese, who are you? <laughs> Anyways, so these are the kind of things that you can find in bakeries. Basically, you can find sweet stuff, salt stuff, uh, bread, lunch. You can have anything, actually. It is usually super, super good. And one thing you need to know about bakeries in France, it is everywhere. Almost every street has a bakery. Il y a une boulangerie dans pratiquement toutes les rues en France. C'est vraiment très représentatif de la façon de manger 
des Françaises, ça fait partie intégrante de notre culture. Et euh, on peut trouver toutes sortes de petites choses, à manger, euh, du pain, des viennoiseries, euh, des pâtisseries, des pains un peu spéciaux, comme je l'ai dit, des pains avec euh, des noix, avec du fromage. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, for those of you, since I don't know quite yet what level is my audience in French, so I don't know where you're at currently. I will, uh, for the first few videos, I'm going to speak a little bit English and a little bit of French, right? Donc, je vais parler en français, je vais vous parler en anglais, en attendant de savoir le niveau de chacun pour que je puisse uh, ajuster mon contenu, mes vidéos, mes listes de lecture, uh, selon votre niveau. I'm going to adjust my content uh, according to each and every one level, right? I'm going to create some playlists for beginners, uh, absolute beginners, uh, for advanced, intermediate, those who want to improve their speaking skills or uh, those pronunciations. And uh, I'm going to do a lot of things according to your level. So uh, leave, leave comments, right? Leave a comment and tell me if uh, you understand when I speak French. Uh, Laissez-moi des commentaires. Laissez-moi des commentaires, c'est très très important. Dites-moi si, si ça vous plaît, si vous aimez. Et, euh, et moi, je m'ajusterai selon votre niveau. Euh, dernière petite chose. Un petit quiz. Just a little quiz for you guys. All right? Let's say there's a very frequent mistake that people do when they speak French. Um, so, would you say... Um, je vais... Chez la boulangerie ou je vais à la boulangerie. Je vais chez la boulangerie ou je vais à la boulangerie. All right. <coughs> chez et à la, they both uh, indicate a direction you're going to. All right. Je vais uh, chez la boulangerie ou je vais à la boulangerie. I'm going to reveal uh, the answer in the comments, but like I would love to know what would be your answer to that. So let me know in the comments and uh, I will see you in the next video.